Hey guys, Carlos here. I know I haven't been uploading in a while, I've been busy with other things, but alas, I am back. So as you may know about already, I am now the new icon maker slash illustrator of Emo Dances. And people have been wondering, how do you make your icons? Well today I'll be going over that and more. First off, you'll need an image of a pose. Most people make their own pose in Roblox Studio for simplicity. How I do it is that I just go into Emo Dances and make a green screen and get a specific pose of myself. However, Emonis is currently down for reviews, so we're gonna have to get a post from somewhere else. However, Val has multiple poses that he made that can be used for icons, so props to him for the pose I will use. You will also need a template icon. I have provided a border outline if you wish to make your own, I will also link the regular template in the description. So if you want to make your own templates, feel free to. Now secondly, open a program such as paint.net which will also be provided in the description. Open your template and copy your image pose as a separate layer. Now, remove the background or a green screen that might be obstructing the image with a magic wand. You might need to mess around with the tolerance to get it right, though. Now, make a duplicate of that layer slash pose, then color one of the poses slash layers white. Again, you'll probably have to mess around with the tolerance. Don't forget to turn off anti-aliasing so it doesn't look weird. Then what I like to do is put the layer with the actual pose on top, and then use the line tool to make the lines on the white pose. And use the magic tool once I think my lines look good enough. You we'll probably have to play around with the line tool depending on the size of the pose and stuff. Here's a tip if you think the arm is behind the torso, you line out the torso. If the arm is in front, you outline the entire bit that's over the torso. Once you're done with the line art, your new icon is all said and done. You can use your icons for whatever game you feel like. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and I hope it will help for you. See you guys later in the next video.